Hello, and welcome to ForcesOfFlight.com. I'm your host, Dustin Drews. I'll also be hosting the YouTube channel, the Facebook group, and anything else associated with Forces of Flight. So who is Dustin Drews? Well, you probably guessed it. That's me, the guy talking behind the microphone. I'm a Midwestern farm kid, born and raised in Wahoo, Nebraska. I'm also a family man. I've been married for 14 years to my wife, Jessica. I have a three-year-old boy on the right named Boaz and a one-and-a-half-year-old on the left named Isaac. Right out of high school, I joined the United States Marine Corps. My job in the Marine Corps was to rebuild hydraulic components for aircraft. People would take components off the birds, bring them to us, we'd fix them, give them back to them so they can put them back on the birds. During my Marine Corps career, I spent a year in Japan, a few months aboard the USS Essex, two seven-month tours in Iraq, one in 2003 and one in 2005. The best way I can describe my career in the Marine Corps is like this. I wouldn't do it again for a million dollars, but I won't sell all the memories I have from it for a hundred million. So growing up a Midwestern farm kid, you can imagine I'm quite the outdoorsman. I love hunting, as you can see by the pictures. I also love fishing. Fishing has always been a big part of me and my family's life. These are a few pictures from South Dakota, Nebraska the last couple years. I'm also a trapper. For three years of my life, I worked for the South Dakota Game Fish and Parks, taking care of problem coyotes around sheep and cattle. I also trapped on my own, caught numerous coon, as you can see in the picture, lots of beaver, a few fox, and even a few bobcats. And you guessed it, I'm also a pilot. I'm instrument rated and currently have about 115 hours in an airplane. I'm working towards my commercial, then on to my multi, then CFI, and CFII. So what is Forces of Flight? Forces of Flight is me sharing my aviation experience so you can gain yours. Experience is like my first cross-country flight ever. The flight was to Christmas Valley, Oregon. I circled the airport, landed, and taxied to the FBO. Upon arriving to the FBO, I found it was nothing more than a blue porta pot with an orange windsock next to it. It's experiences like these I hope to share with others so they don't get the aviation blues. So I hope you enjoy the step-by-step -step process of what it takes to become a private pilot.